Hi Linda, it's Terry. Um, I'm really happy that you asked me to do this because I have not created a, an event since the profile change happened. Um, they, they changed the event platform a few months back um, to make it a little bit more casual, a little easier to do and, and have it be on the home page. When you log in, you log into your uh, newsfeed. So you'll see right here, events. Now this is if you were to plan something really casual like um, a dinner for uh, a few friends, you know. Um, so you would just come here to events, click on what are you planning, and you would just fill this out. Uh, right here, you can have it public or private. But I know that you want to add more details, so I'm going to have you come on over here to on the right, uh, left, ooh, if I can do that right, left navigation, just go to events, click on events, okay. And let's go ahead and, and this is the dinner. <laughs> I got to cancel this. I had to play around with it a little bit because um, it's it's it, things uh, things have changed on the marketing angle. Things have changed a little bit, but let's go here and I'll cancel this soon. But I'll go ahead and create an event. Okay, so now we're back to the normal platform, so it's all familiar. Uh, you can go ahead and add your event photo if you don't have a photo, and you just go to Google Images, type in a keyword, upload a photo. Um, you know, save, you know, once you find an image, just save it, you know, you just, what is it, uh, right click, save image as, and then you can upload it here. And then it, it, you just go ahead and fill it out. So we're going to do, I'm going to do um, the 23rd, and there's a reason, and I'll tell you later. Uh, and I'll do uh, 7.30, and I'm going to say dinner. Okay. Now, this is interesting uh, because it's new, because I'm going to go ahead and start typing in the brigantine. Well, uh, Facebook just created uh, their place, their places platform, their places pages, I don't know, a few months back. And that is their local check-in service. So like Foursquare or Google's HotPod. It's if you have a smartphone and you're going somewhere like Starbucks, you could check in. Okay. So what happens is when people check in to places, it, go, uh, um, it creates a place page. Okay. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because if there's, if you start typing in, I know you're collecting blankets, but I don't know if there's a drop off spot that's a local um, venue. I mean, obviously you're not going to want to do a place page for your house. Um, you, go ahead and use that. And, and this is something you can, uh, I'll discuss that in a minute. Sorry, it's getting late here. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to the Brigantine in Coronado. Um, go ahead, add the street address. Just click that, add it in and uh, fill out your information. Now you're going to want to look down here. Anyone can view an RSVP. I'm assuming this is something that you're going to say, yes, I want this to be public. This is um, show the guest list on the event page. There's various different reasons why you want to or you don't want to show the guest list. And what that means is that their faces and names are going to show up when another person comes to the event page and they're going to say, oh, so-and-so is going. Now I usually advise my clients that this is their one of their first events, they don't have a huge following, they're just getting started, heck no, do not let people see the guest list because when two people RSVP'd, you know how it goes, you want to go where people are going. So um, I'm going to leave it up to you. I mean, I know you're dealing, probably dealing with kids under 18, so I don't know if you're want, you want their profile pictures up, um, but then again, if their profile pictures up, that might really, you know, be a little good peer pressure for the other friends. Uh, so just know that you can either have the guest show up right here where the, the mouse is or not. And then you just go ahead and create an event. Oh, let me get to the select guests. Uh, you just hit select guests. I'm not sure if, if you're going to do this on your profile or your daughter's. I create lists because I, I have too many friends and they're well business. You know. Trust me, I don't have too many f real friends. Anyways, uh, and you can filter the friends. It's going to take a while uh, because it's a little bit slow and if you have too many friends. But um, unfortunately, there is no way. Let's just say you don't have any friends list and you have your friends come up. I wish there was a select all. Well, there isn't. Um, the only way you get that select all is let's just, I'm going to go ahead and click my business. It's going to take a little bit. Come on. If you'll see fast food panel, anyways, okay. <laughs> this is how I also organize just between you know me and you the panels and all that, uh, so they're not seeing certain things. Anyways, okay, so you go ahead and select all if you had lists. Okay, if you select all, it's all going to turn blue. 
Now, if you don't have any lists, that's fine. Just go ahead. You're going to have to manually click on each name. Um, and what you're going to want to do, okay. So I'm manually clicking off right now just to show you. Come on. In short, before you do the save and close, you want to make sure that all of your friends that you want to invite um, are blue. Now, this is another important point. Invite by email. Well, so there might not be people that are either on Facebook or you're not friends with them because only your friends show up. You're going to want, you can put their emails in here. They're going to get an invite. So let's save and close. Add your event. Create the event. You're done. Um, I don't want to, why do I always do this? Let's get out of here because I don't want to create this event, obviously. Um, but let's go into the dinner event. And I'm going to show you how you can message. Now, the nice thing about creating, creating an event from your personal, um, yeah. okay, Facebook. This is weird. Facebook is being so quirky. Let's do home. Wow. Anyways, when you click, uh, this is so weird. It's been so quirky these days. Okay. So again, to find your event, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to figure there used to be, I used to be able to go to events on my page and it used to say my events and, and I haven't found that yet. Now that they've changed everything. I'm going to try to though <laughs> for you and I'll let you know after the video, I'll send you an emailer. But anyways, this is the event that I created for you and I, uh, just because I was kind of playing around. So you go to events, and I'm assuming that you don't, I mean, you're here for personal, so you don't get spammed to death with uh, events. So the event will show up. So go ahead and click on dinner. And um, this is the cool feature. When you create the events from your personal page, you can message the all of them attending maybe attending not yet replied so this is where you can say hey guys reminder uh, maybe attending remind them attending give them further details and all you know uh, might not be a bad idea after you create the event to go ahead and do a, a message to all of them because what happens is let me show you when you go when you're invited to an event this is where your invites are. It doesn't go to your messages, okay? But when you message your the people that you invited to this event, it's going to show up and please, oh, don't look at all the, I so need to clean up. It's going to go directly to their inbox, not their updates, but their inbox. So there's a lot of power there. Um, I think that's it. As far as marketing goes, the nice thing is when you create that event, it is going to... Uh, and I deleted it off my page. But it, it, when I created the dinner event right here, uh, it, it, it was on my page. Um, I really like the old platform better, but I'm going to do a little bit of research after this video and try to figure out better ways for you to market this because it's kind of switched up. Anyways, uh, have a good